Hello everyone, I'm James, and welcome to Total Sports Newsroom. As we eagerly await Sunday's final between Spain and England, let's take a moment to reflect on the standout moments and key takeaways from Euro 2024 so far. Emerging Young Stars This tournament has been a showcase for young talents with none shining brighter than Lamine Yamal. The 17-year-old sensation became the youngest scorer in men's European Championship history with his breathtaking goal against France in the semi-finals. Celebrating his birthday just a day before the final, Yamal has been a revelation. Germany's Jamal Musiala and Florian Wirtz, both 21, dazzled on home soil, while another 21-year-old, Xavi Siemens of the Netherlands, scored a memorable goal despite his team's semi-final exit against England. However, Spain's Pedri, also 21, faced heartbreak as his tournament ended due to a rough tackle from Germany's Toni Kroos in the quarterfinals. Struggles of the Superstars Euro 2024 hasn't been kind to some of Europe's biggest names. Cristiano Ronaldo at 39 aimed to become the oldest scorer in the tournament's history but ended without a goal in five games. His presence on the field sparked more off-field drama with fans constantly trying to get selfies. Kylian Mbappe's campaign was marred by a broken nose and an early exit in the semi-finals against Spain, with his only goal coming from a penalty. Harry Kane despite reaching the final has looked off his best and Kevin De Bruyne couldn't lift an often lackluster Belgian side. Fan Frenzy Euro 2024 has brought back the vibrant energy of European fans after pandemic restrictions and a World Cup in Qatar. Massive fan marches like the 100,000-strong Dutch procession to their semi-final have brightened up host cities. Despite minor clashes involving fans from England, the Netherlands and Serbia, the atmosphere remained largely festive. However, fans had to contend with Germany's overloaded train network, making travel between games a challenge. Even the Dutch team faced last-minute travel issues, resorting to a charter flight for their semi-final. VAR Controversies no major soccer tournament is complete without debates over VR decisions. Controversial calls have been a recurring theme, overshadowing several key matches. Denmark's Joachim Andersen saw his goal disallowed for offside against Germany, and shortly after, a penalty was awarded against him. The leniency towards grappling in the penalty area frustrated many, but when Dutch defender Denzel Dumfries collided with England's Harry Kane, it resulted in a pivotal penalty. Netherlands coach Ronald Koeman voiced his frustration saying, VR breaks football. German fans jeered Spain's Marc Cucurella during the semi-final against France after a non-call for handball in their quarter-final clash. No small teams. This year's tournament demonstrated that there are no easy opponents. Remarkably, no team lost all their games, a first since the European Championship expanded beyond eight teams in 1992. Debutantes Georgia beat Portugal and gave Spain a scare, while Albania led in two of their three games. Slovenia remained unbeaten in regular play, only bowing out to Portugal in a penalty shootout. As we gear up for the grand finale, Euro 2024 has already given us unforgettable moments and showcased the rising stars of European football. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more updates and sports news here on Total Sports Newsroom. I'm James, signing off.